Okay, students. Now, what happens when you are trying to solve a system of equations using the addition technique? But here, if I add, you know, things aren't going to cancel. Let me watch. I mean, if I add negative 5x minus 15x, uh, I get negative 20x. And if I add 3y plus 2y, I get positive 5y. You know, that's not helping me. I mean, I need to fix this so that when I do add, one of my variables is going to cancel. So, how am I going to do that? Well, one of the ways I can do this is I can distribute. I mean, as long as I distribute the entire equation, that's going to work for me. So... Let's go, let's pick an equation. Let's see. You know, if I, I notice my second equation has negative 15x. And I notice my first equation has 5x. And I know 5 and 15 are, are, fact, are multiples of each other. So, maybe if I multiply this equation by 3. So, let's type out my first equation. So, let's write... Negative 5x plus 3y equals 3. Let's see if that works. So here I'll have 3 times negative 5x plus 3 times 3y equals... 3 times 3. Let's see what happens. 3 times negative 5x is negative 15x. Plus 3 times 3y is 9y. Equals 3 times 3 equals 9. And I'll type that second equation right underneath it. You, you know, that's not going to work either because, look, Negative 15x minus 15x is negative 30x. Like, it didn't cancel. But, you know, I think the only problem is the numbers are the same. And that's one of the two situations I need when I have an opposite. Now, if opposites cancel, I need the same number, but I need different signs. Well, I have the same number, but the signs are the same. So, if I need different signs, well, I'm just add a negative right here. And just change all these to negative. And see if that changes anything. You see, negative 3 times negative 5x, that's positive 15x. Negative 3 times negative 3y equals negative 9y. And negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. See, now I can, now this is a situation where if I add, they'll cancel. So why don't I draw my calculating line, and negative 15x minus 15x is zero. So that worked out well for me. Now negative 9y plus 2y is negative 7y, and negative 9 minus 2 is negative 7. So it looks like this is going to divide cleanly and give me a nice whole number. And if I divide by negative 7 on both sides, on the left side, that'll cancel, and I'll be left with y. And if I divide by negative 7 on the right side, I'm left with 1. Now that I know what y is, I, I can go ahead and I can substitute and figure out what x is. Now, let's see. What equation do I want to pick? Um, and I can pick any one of this, these two equations I started with. Or after I distribute, I can pick one of these equations. I think I'll choose this equation. Just because I see 2y. And that just looks like some easy substitution for me. So let's bring this equation down here. And now I'll have negative 15x plus 2, open my parentheses, and replace y with 1. 
make that equal to 2, and now I have negative 15x plus 2 equals 2. And if I subtract 2 on both sides, well, it's negative 15x isn't going to change. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0, so that just cancels. And 2 minus 2 here is equal to 0. And you know what? No matter what I multiply or divide by when something equals 0, x is going to equal 0 anyway. So it looks like my answer is 0 for x and 1 for y. And I hope this helps.